Is Easy jealous of Natalie's boyfriend? What's up, Easy Gay? Gay, 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 gay. Oh, what do? <laughs> How are you guys doing? We're back with another video. Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Out here. Mm -mm. Ooh. <laughs> What's poppin' y'all? If you guys are new to our channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And make sure you turn those post notifications on because we are doing post notification shout outs in every video. Hey. So if you want a shout out, all you gotta do is follow us on Instagram, EasyXNatalie, and comment, post notification, gang. And actually turn them on, you know? You gotta yeah, turn them all off. Turn them yeah. off. Turn them off. So, you know, we had a really good yeah. reaction to our last q a so we were like you know what what girl let's do another one girl let's do another one hey, baby. <laughs> so we asked you guys <laughs> on our instagram see this why you gotta follow our instagram gotta follow our instagram mm -hmm. to get all the exclusive photos videos and all that right so we asked y'all hey ask us some personal questions you yeah. because we want to answer them heck yeah so that's what we're about to do we're about to answer some of those personal questions of we're course. about to get juicy honey All right, guys, so let's get into the juicy, juicy questions. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. Some of these were like super, I don't know. Yeah, out of this world. Yeah. You guys so. have fun with the questions here. You know, calm down. Calm down. Come all the way down. All right, but, you know, keep all the juicy questions coming when we do Q&As, though. You know, we need all that for the, you know. Annie. Well, let's get first. into it. Let's get right into All it. Right. Juicy questions. Here we go. Mm. Who is this from? Breezy Shakur. Oh my God, Breezy, what's up? We miss you, girl. Yes, girl, we miss you, Breezy Shakur in the building. Yeah, she's, she's a real supporter. Real, yeah, supporter. real supporter. All right, she said, "What would y'all do if y'all was to get in a relationship with someone and okay. they made y'all choose between their relationship or y'all for friendship?" Ah. Uh. That means that person wasn't for me, honey, because my best friend ain't going nowhere. That's what I like to hear. I would drop her ass like a hot potato. No, just wait. You would drop me like a hot potato? I'm just joking. I would never. But no, exactly what she said. First of all, if I was with a man who was that insecure that said you need to choose, mm -mm, he ain't the one for me. <laughs> Thank you, Breezy Shakur, for showing love. We love you, Breezy. Here we go. All right, so this question is from DXMani underscore says, what do you guys see yourself doing if YouTube and social media went downhill? <sighs> Stripper. <sighs> Stripper. Sorry, I just had a moment just picturing if that actually happened. <laughs> Stripper, straight out. You guys are mine too. Stripper, that's what I'm doing. Imagine coming to the stage, Young e Easy. No, 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 my name wouldn't be e Young Easy. First off, I would own my own strip club, and I wrote about this when I was in college. Oh you my know, goodness. I would open my of own course business. You did. I have, I have the, I have the folder too of how the um, pamphlet would go. Like the, um, what is it called? The blueprint. Everything. My best friend is super yes. ratchet. I'm ratchet, so I would call my strip club Easy Booty. Easy. It sounds like you gonna get an Easy <laughs> STD in there. You know what? Come on, don't hate because I wouldn't hire you. Don't <laughs> hate anyway. And I would be the special guest. Sometimes I'll make an appearance. And then sometimes I'll let everybody else do their thing. But that's what I would do. Easy booty. Easy booty. Come on, that's genius. That's freaking genius, y'all. Easy booty's never good booty. Mm -hmm. That's why you go to this strip club. You need that easy booty. I would, um, let's see. I mean, I would still do what I'm doing, but just not on social media. I do all this because I want to be in movies. You feel me? Why do so, you have to go to serious route? Because that's what, I, they want a serious answer. <laughs> I'm an actor. All right, you go ahead with your acting self. <laughs> all right, the next question next is. Question. What the next question? From exclusive spams. How does Easy plan to have a baby in the future? Donor, adopt, etc. All right, so I mean, honestly, I, yeah, I want to have, I want to have kids, like you know what I'm saying, and I will go the route of, you know, whatever the best route is. I want them to come out of me, so I will probably get a donor, you know, <laughs> donate his sperm, and I would get a turkey baster and put it inside of me, and then boop, 
There goes little baby Easy. That's out. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Why? Wait, first of all, this sounds like you doing it the hood way for using the turkey baster. Oh, that's not you the supposed way. to go to the doctors and have them do it. Oh, now we all natural over here. She said oh, a turkey that's... baster. I'm just picturing it. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Too much. Too, too much. much. Okay, go ahead. Too go ahead. much. Go ahead. All right. Here, you read this one. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. So the next question is from Young underscore period easy. Your fan page. Oh, that's my fan page. What's up? What's up? All right. My fan page says, what's one thing you don't like about each other? God, what's one thing that I don't like about you, Nat? I mean, everything. I don't like. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, what is? I don't know. Okay, I got it. One thing that I don't like about Natalie is she does not close cabinets behind her. She doesn't. I don't know what it is. Wow. But... So you gonna really make me seem dirty in front of all of no, these no, people? No, 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 no. It's not dirty. You're not dirty at all. But for some reason, when she goes into the cabinet at my house, her house, she needs a seasoning, she needs a pot, she needs, you know, a toothbrush out of a cabinet, you know what I'm saying? She needs some toilet tissues, a plunger, whatever it is, in the cabinet. Natalie does not close the cabinets behind her. Close the cabinet, Nat, Nat. Come on. Come on, Natalie. I gotta go behind her. Hey, Nat. Close the cabinet. Or not. Close the cabinet. Hey, Nat. Close the cabinet. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't like about that. It's not really too big, but what? What you don't like about me, girl? Mm, let's think. I gotta think so hard. Yeah, because I'm a real likable person. <laughs> what don't you like about me, shorty? Since you want to talk about the cabinet, this is close to home. You ever been at someone's house and they be acting super extra? about something that really has no value like they be really like acting what? like what now they be acting like this is their prized possession oh don't touch that what? and you're like oh my god i already, you already know, know what i'm talking about say. i'm like bro i will buy you new ones i will buy you tell a me, thousand of them tell people what you're talking about her kitchen towels my kitchen her towels. decorative towels <laughs> I'm like, first of all, tell, tell them what you what? mean. Tell them she what you has mean. these decorative little kitchen towels. I mean, when I say decorative, they're pretty basic, honestly. Oh, I thought they were pretty cute when I bought them. But hey, the little, the little. They're men. little like chefs on these like towels, right? They're like hand towels. They remind me of. So I them. thought they were. I mean, they're chefs on the towel. They look pretty cool, and they're there because they're the chefs, and I, I don't really cook, so. You know, gotta have some chefs in the kitchen. But anyway, yes, I have these little towels on my stove. Long, what about them? Yes, long story short, Easy complains if I ever use them. I'm like, what are they here for? What am I supposed to do? Dry my hands on myself? Like, I try to dry my hands, and she's like, don't touch those towels. That's something I don't like about Young Easy. I can't touch her kitchen towels. Bro, it's not my fault. I don't know what it was. No, I know exactly what it was. My mom, she did that. Like, she, like, you know when you go in her house, like, you can't touch her kitchen towels that were on the stove. They're for decorative purpose. They're, they're only for decorative towels. So it know? got on your nerves, but you decided to adopt that for Yeah, I don't reason. know. And then I realized, like, yo, I hated that my mom said that, so why? Am I doing it? All right, so this question is from Duke I A Deli. Says, Easy, will you marry a girl? <laughs> no. I'm marrying like an African man in freaking Zimbabwe. What? Oh, you mean that big black one? Yeah, the big black one with the big money. And the big five socks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that just got weird. <laughs> so, the next question is Easy. Oh, this is from Marty Mark. Dang, everybody want to know about me. Hey, hey, what the heck? What is this? Easy channel? This is Easy X Natalie. But if y'all want to subscribe to me, I got my own channel, Young Easy. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Um, easy, do you have issues with men not taking you seriously in a relationship? Whoa. Dang. Is that it? And then, Nat, do you fear being alone? Dang. <laughs> Honestly, it hurts my heart that they don't take me seriously because all I want to do is please a man and love him and treat him good. I just want to be a housewife. Please, 
Doesn't she look like she wants to be a housewife? Somebody, please let Easy be a housewife. <laughs> All right, next question. What's yours? All right, uh, and Nat, do you fear being alone? No, I don't. What? Huh? What? No, no, she doesn't. All right, raven.mc says, share your most embarrassing moment. All right, so this is a classic story of girl who cried wolf. All right, I used to, that's me? I used to always try to make excuses when I was in elementary school. Like, I didn't want to go to school, so I'd be like, oh, I don't feel good. My hand hurts, blah, blah, blah. So at the time, I was staying at my aunt's house, and I was going to catch the bus from there to go to school. So I woke up in the morning. I was like, I don't feel good. Oh, can I stay home from school? And I always did that. So she was like. You always did that, and you got away with it? No, usually, no, I didn't. I mean, uh, once in a blue, I would get lucky, but you know what I mean? I was just persistent. Damn, lucky you. I'm going to not play that. <laughs> <laughs> so my aunt's like, no, get up. You're going to school. Well, I really didn't feel good. Oh, my God. I know. Can you believe it? No. That's so, a she. I end up going. I'm walking to the bus stop, right? I'm like, uh-oh. My stomach is going crazy. I'm like, oh, my and the bus pulls up. Somebody got the bubble goods. I step up onto the first step. Oh, you sharded. And I pooped on myself. <laughs> oh my God, you stink. Oh, I smell And you. I literally got, went up, I got onto the bus. And my, my bus driver was literally, I just sat, I was like literally like in shock. Like on the, on the first step, like. And my bus driver was like literally just looking at me and he was like, are you getting on? And then I was like, and then I got on the bus and I was literally in my mind, I was like, okay, should I go? Should I go? And I was literally just oh kept picturing God. all day people are gonna smell me, smell my poop. Like, so I ended up getting off of the bus and I go home and I was crying all the way home because I was so embarrassed. I felt like everyone probably smelled me. And yeah, that's my story of when I sharded on myself. So. <laughs> oh my God, best friend. I would have been one of those kids that literally roast you. It would have been like, oh, stinky ass. Hey, <laughs> if you don't get your old stinky booty ass off the damn bus, yo, Natalie, shit it on us. We wouldn't have been friends in elementary in school. In elementary school, we wouldn't have been friends. I was, I was a little bad kid. I would have roasted you. I'm not going to lie. All right. So next. Uh, let me get it. Let me get it. Right. Chi Chi underscore Roxy says, question for Nat. <laughs> if Easy was in a relationship and the girlfriend came to you in secretly and told you she did not like you being around her and hugging her, what would you do? Mind you, hypothetically, Easy is head over heels for her. Okay. I don't I don't want you around my girl. Easy is mine. And you a little bit too on her. What all right. What First you of all, what you I'm gonna do? be like I'm gonna go up to her and honestly I would be very mature and I would say too bad, so sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. I'm head over heels. I'm head over heels for this girl. I'm gonna come up to you. I'm gonna be like, best friend. This is what you said. Ain't no talking to me on the side and trying to like <laughs> make me run out of Easy's life. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go up to her and be like, best friend. What? Yo, girl said that she don't want me around you and <gasps> she don't want me hugging you. Ooh, handle that. Toodaloo, handle that. Okay, cool. This one is from Southern Lady 1996. She says, Have you guys ever pretended that you guys were married to get free samples of cake? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? <laughs> do people actually Wait. do that? What was it to get cake? Yeah, it's for time we're married to go get free samples of cake. Yo. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of brilliant. Maybe we should try. <laughs> Wait, where can we go to I do that? <laughs> what? I mean, I guess what? We're gonna be married today because I'm hungry. That's a good idea. We're gonna have to try that. I'm I want some free cake. Right. Give me some cake. <laughs> Shay JP. I have to say underscore now. Don't be say. Don't you say it. Shay JPH says, Young Easy, do you have advice on how to feel comfortable with yourself? I personally don't like. I personally. I personally. <laughs> I, 
I personally don't like most things about myself, especially my body or how I look. And I'm not sure what to do to fix how I feel about myself in general. Easy game. The advice that I would give you, honestly, confidence is everything. You know, something that I do and I just started doing this practice is literally looking at myself in the mirror and telling myself everything that I love about myself. You a bad bitch. Look at yourself and say that. You are a bad bitch. Okay, yeah. that's what you do. That's what you do, girl. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but seriously, like really look at yourself and you have to, it might feel awkward or whatever, but tell yourself, tell yourself all the things that you love about yourself. You know what I'm saying? And don't let society tell you that you aren't beautiful enough or you aren't great enough. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard in the time that we live in, you know, social media, you see these Kim Kardashians or these Instagram models, but like, don't let that be your standard. You know, you are you, you are beautiful. Everybody is beautiful no matter what. So the advice that I have is love yourself and F what the world says. Like, you know what I'm saying? Your smile, your eyes, your skin, your body, everything is beautiful. That's the advice I got for you, girl. So the next question is, is Easy jealous of Natalie's boyfriend? So, are you jealous of my boyfriend? I'm not. First off, <laughs> best friend. First off, any boyfriend that you've ever had, I've never been, but I am very protective. You know what I'm saying? So when things do happen, it's just like, be ready. I be ready to like, yo bro, like, come on. You be like, ready to go. I be ready to do all, nah, 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 that. He might, <laughs> he might beat me up, I'm still a girl. <laughs> but I be, you know, I be so With that normal best friend, uh, like defensive. Yeah, it happens. Like, oh, what he did? Huh? What, what he do? Oh, we we pulling up on her. We uh, you know what I mean? Handle that. <laughs> I remember with my ex, like she would literally, you know, if she knew we were arguing, she would just try to like cheer me up, and girl. I think it was like her way of being like kind of petty, like I got you, girl. I got, I got you. you best friend. She, don't worry about that boy. Don't worry about him. Look, we tell got him. To tell him when you got an argument. Oh yeah, I got in an argument with my ex and she literally brought me champagne and lollipops and it was just like mad cute and she cheered me up. Get y'all a best friend like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so with that being said, we are wrapping up the video. This was so fun. I love doing these Q and A's like just to hear what our fans or what our supporters, you know, want to know about us. I it's know. super cool. I'm I, just, I love it. I love to get to know you guys too. So like maybe we should ask the questions under our supporters like uh, pictures, you know, that would be fun. Maybe. Maybe. Where are you? You have it all. Look yeah. for it. Tell them what to do. Nat, nat. So you already know, if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys comment below. Hashtag post notification gang. Hashtag easy gang. Turn those post notifications on. Follow us. Follow us on Instagram. And subscribe. Bye.